In today's episode of Hobbies and Happiness, we will be getting you ready for Shadowlands and the spec the expansion was named after. No, no it's not Death Knight. Shadow Priest. Shadowlands, Shadow Priest. For too long have they been in the shadows. Now it's their time to shine. Let's get into it. So a few changes have been made to the priest talent tree going into Shadowlands. But first up, we have Unfurling Darkness. Unfurling Darkness makes it to where then after you cast Vampiric Touch on a target, the next time you cast it, it will be insta-cast and deal X amount damage more. It can only be used once every 15 seconds. Next tier, 25, we have Intangibility. I'm going for a more PvP-oriented route, so Dispersion Heals plus Reduced Cooldown is a bit better. Next up, Misery. The fact that you can save space on your toolbar with Misery is amazing. It makes it to where your Vamp Touch, which can be instant cast, throws Shadow Word Pain onto the target as well. Next up, we have Psychic Horror. This tier doesn't really matter which one you take, just take whatever one that you think is best. Next we have Auspicious Spirits. Your shadowy apparitions now deal 25% increased damage and generate 2 insanity. With the way that they're doing the, the shadowy apparitions now, to be on cast of Void Bolt along with Mind Blast, you're able to get this off a bit more consistently. It's not going to be like random damage output. This will be semi-timeable. Then we have Damnation. This newly added skill is pretty great. What it does is, it's on a 45 second cooldown instant speed, applies Shadow Word Pain, Vampiric Touch, and Devouring Plague for free. This actually works in tandem with our 15 talent, Unfurling Darkness. This, it's kind of weird, honestly. So with Unfurling Darkness, you're able to, if you cast Vampiric Touch on a target, you get to recast Vampiric Touch on a different target for free. This counts for that. So you can hit them with Damnation. Unfurling Darkness will kick in allowing you to then use Vampiric Touch normally at instant cast. Next up we have Ancient Madness. Void Form increases your crit strike chance by 30% for 15 seconds, reducing by 2% every second. So this works great with the Mind Blast, Void Bolts. Why it works so well is because when you crit with Mind Blast or the other spells for Shadowy Apparitions, rather than making one, you make two of the Lingering Souls coming out. Let's go over the spells you get on Shadow Priest. First, you have the basic Priest spells, and you have the spells only Shadow Priest can get. <laughs> yeah, right, I don't read that much. Let's get that out of here. These are the spells you'll be using the most. Everything else is situational or used in PvP. Just concentrate on these. Shadow form needs to be active at all times. Hit it and forget it. Shadow's mastery, shadow weaving, increases your damage based on how many dots are on the target, or if you're in void form. Void eruption does AoE damage and puts you in void form for 15 seconds, and turns into void bolt, dealing instant damage on a 4.5 second cooldown. That extends the duration of Shadow Word Pain and Vamp Touch. Maintain Dot Effects. If you're using the level 30 talent Misery, you don't need to worry about Shadow Word Pain. Just simply apply Vamp Touch when the mob has about 3 seconds left on the dots, and Devouring Plague up as much as possible. If you have cooldowns, gain max insanity and let everything fly. Mind Blast is a hard hitting spell that sometimes can be instant cast. Mind Flare is a filler, so use it pretty much when nothing else can be done. Same goes for Mind Seer. 
but only when there are two or more targets. I want to say thanks to everyone who stopped by and is interested in Shadow Priest. I'm planning on maining it for Shadowlands. I love the changes they've made. What are you guys planning on playing in Shadowlands? I'd love to hear from you. And if you're a fan of my content, subscribe and leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. We post videos here on YouTube every Tuesday and stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash moo killer. Link in the description. Take care.